Okay, so what we have here is a faulty uh, earpiece uh, jack that requires a determination uh, to the USB-C. Uh, we have this uh, USB-C board. As you can see, uh, they are actually labeled uh, right, left, ground and mic. So there are four contacts um, and the housing for it. So this one will go through first and we add some heat shrinks uh, to the cables. Uh, let us cut open this. The tools required are standard tools that uh, you need for soldering uh, and also finishing so you will need hot glue also. Okay, so let us cut. The damage area is here as you can see. This is the damage area. Uh, we will cut slightly above. We need some of space sometimes uh, in order to make sure of the pinout. Correct. So wire stripper, strip out the excess. You can see inside uh, there is a cloth uh, cotton or is it is it I think it's cotton uh, it's for the it's for the tensile strength of the cable. Okay. Right now we are looking at um, just four wires. So uh, red, green, blue and uh, brown copper color. So this is basically just a simple determination job uh, of a four wire cable. But right now we need to determine the which of the wire is actually for the mic and which one is for the channel. So we always assume red is the right channel, but uh, we have to double confirm uh, with the with the jack that we cut off itself. So uh, let's uh, try to find out. Okay, before we do anything, uh, let's be Let's thin all this wire first uh, before they start to fray. Okay, wire thinning, uh, we have shown you before. And then uh, we will trim them down. For this, uh, we will do the same as uh, we will strip the excess uh, insulation. Okay, so we got them thin. We will use a tester to, or a multimeter if you have one. Uh, we will use it to find out the configuration of these four wires. So how do we do it? Uh, we'll get our tester and uh, clip it uh, on the contact. So basically, uh, I've gone through the the standard 3.5mm uh, contacts. Uh, I'll go through the mic contact now, pin out now. So uh, first pin, uh, number one pin, is the TRRS. So for the T, it's the left. R, first one, is the right. Second R is for ground, and the sleeve is for the mic. This is true for Apple standard, and more recently, all the recent smartphones, they are using this, uh, every one of them are using this standard. Previously, they have, there's two different standards for mic cable, but now uh, it's all unified. So we have this uh, current state. Let's Try to find out where is the left channel. So it's not the red wire. It's not all this wire either. Okay, there is also a, a chance that uh, they do not light up because uh, the wire has been damaged. So I cannot determine the left cable. Let's try the right. Okay, the right is blue. Okay, let's try to find out the ground. It should be the copper color. And it is. Uh, so we'll go for the mic. So apparently the red is for left, 
the green is for the mic, the blue is for right, and the copper is for the ground. Uh, usually it is uh, the other way around, whereas the 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 right channel will be red color. So now it's blue. So uh, let's keep that in mind and do the retermination. Okay, we have already put the the housing through, so uh, we will need the the board. Let's recap: uh, right, left, ground, and mic. We can see it here. And let's do the termination. These are already thin, so we do not need additional work on it. So we are just uh, solder them accordingly. So the blue is for the red, for the for the right. The red is for the left. There are components, uh, so make sure the wire doesn't touch the component. Um, is it brown light? Okay, so the mic will be the last one we solder the ground. And finally the mic. Let's take a closer look. So by right when I uh Install this onto a phone, it should be recognized. And uh, it's been recognized as a uh, mic input uh, idea. Uh, the next step is to test it through the phone or through any player that supports USB C. So you can see, uh, they come in a few parts. Uh. Uh, they have this uh, front uh, capping, so it goes through here. Uh, and uh, the back capping actually slots perfectly so we need to glue down the front capping onto the onto the the, the board itself uh, this uh, USB-C connector itself uh, what glue should we use uh, as always super glue be careful not to pour too much uh. super glue are very uh, permanent for this sort of uh, job so I have then done. See, you actually already st stuck to it. Um, you can just uh, finish the job just by, by, by just doing this, but uh, it will be better if you can put some uh, strain relief uh, here. So uh, we will be cutting out some heat strings. Uh, I forget to put the heat strings in beforehand. Uh, so please remember to put it in beforehand. So what do we do uh, if we do not? Uh, Installed the string before and uh, we found that it is too small to, to put it through now. Well, we try to expand it. It might not fit, it might fit. Uh, if it might if it does not fit, we'll get a bigger size heat string and we'll do the same. So I have uh, stretched it with uh, this uh, pair of pliers and uh, it does not fit. I have to get a uh, slightly thicker. If not, we'll just go for a full 7mm. Uh, this, uh, what's this called? Uh, um, Heat string. Actually, uh, the heat string will, will will go all the way. So uh, I I I believe that I can use a bigger. I can use this size heat string. Uh, and I'll just install the glue. A hot glue. So let's get rid of the hot glue first. Let's cut the hot glue. I think we need a generous amount of hot glue. So this should be sufficient. And let's try to get uh, a long enough. Uh, I hope this is not too long. It is. So cut it down to this. Seems okay. Uh, let's uh, install the heat shrink. Okay, even a 7mm heat shrink has trouble fitting through this. Uh, so, remember to install the heat shrink before you put in any of the glue parts yeah okay this part right we, what I always do uh, I will hit the front first and uh, let it string down and we install the glue afterwards so what it does uh, is that uh, make sure that the glue is uh, on the connection itself this part of the connection the wires itself so okay, okay. 
as you can see uh, this part is shrink down whereas the the wires are not not yet uh, shrink down yet but we install the the glue here so just put it through uh, at the wire itself well it looks uh, like it should stay and right now we'll shrink the, the outside first so we'll make sure that when the the glue melts uh, it will actually fill the 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 portion that we want them to the intended portion okay as you can see uh, the whole the whole heat shrink is uh, being filled with glue right now we can test if the, the housing fits take note uh, they, they, are, they are still not fit uh, they, they are still not uh, fixed yet uh. the, the glue is still uh, soft okay it does fit so uh, let me glue up the housing to the to the casing yeah, I mean to the to the front part uh, so what we do is just a bit of a super glue, CA glue and we'll push it through all the way these are the excess uh, heat, the glue, glue stick that melted outside we'll remove them and uh, the job is done Of course, we should always pack the the inside with uh, more material so that it, that it there's not such big movement of the wire. So uh, what I will do is uh, I'll install another heat shrink on the outside, and I will pack it down with glue. So here is the heat shrink. Let's get the length. It's too long. This should be about right. So same thing. Uh, this has to go through the whole housing. Uh, so we have to expand it uh, much more this time around. Right. So it goes through well. Uh, same procedure. We will shrink the the part that doesn't have glue first. to the point that oh you can install some glue here so uh, let me cut some glue and stuff it all inside cut them in a longer shape and uh, let's start heating up The glue will definitely leak outside because uh, it's much more than uh, the size of the heat shrink can hold. Take note, this is a metal housing, it's going to be very hot. So uh, we'll try to center it as much as possible and uh, we'll let it set and we'll remove all the excess from the outside. And the job will be done. So let me just hold it there for until it uh, cool down. Or we can actually blow on it uh, with a fan or with your mouth. Okay, and it's set. Uh, excess glue on the outside. Remove it, uh, fingernail or pen knife or any other form of uh, sharp object. And we'll be done. For good measure, we we'll run a bit of heat at the edges. Okay, so we are done with the job.